killed more video games than YouTubers and content creators coming out in 2024 as PDFs. That It has been un. Believable. Going down this rabbit hole of doing these Marvel retrospectives of old games that I'm finding that I had no idea about. I know some of you may have known, but of course for me and a lot of other people is gonna watch this video had no idea that back in 2005 to 2000, like in ish, EA and Microsoft was playing a game of freaking whack a mole of like, okay, we're gonna do this this superhero game. Okay, cancel this one. Uh, this one flop. I mean, they was on a run that I've never seen before in my life. A few weeks ago, I did a video about Marvel Nemesis. That one did very well for the channel and a lot of people had a lot of nostalgia attached to that game. So apparently after Marvel Nemesis, EA had planned to do a follow-up. Not really Marvel Nemesis 2, but something that was a spiritual successor, as they say. The name of that game is going to be Marvel Chaos. It was set to come out on PS3 and Xbox 360. And this is one of the fastest announcements to closings within a span of about six to eight months. This was initially announced at the San Diego Comic Con in 2007 and yes i found some footage bro it, it is amazing what you can find on youtube especially when you look it up and it says 17 16 years ago that is unbelievable shout out to unseen64.net because this game is so hard to find information about this game is so difficult to even just pull up that it's only like two websites that i found that actually has some information about it which makes me so sad because i know 10 years from now it may not be here at all so hopefully the videos of me making some of these old council games can be in the rotation whenever i'm long and done with youtube and if you're watching this 10 years from now your boy was lit when we were so so marvel chaos was initially announced to be on the xbox 360 in the ps3 it was going to be a superhero fighting slash brawler game developed by electronic arts chicago and in particular this was the team that actually worked on the fight night games now i don't know about you but around this time i was still in high school i was like a sophomore 2007 uh, I was a junior. I was heavy into at least in the hood. Like it was Madden and Fight Night. Round two, round three. Had the Roy Jones doing the rotation. Fight Night games was top tier in the hood. So the fact that this team was going to be the ones that, that was going to make a fighting style Marvel game, I think would have been absolutely incredible. And from the footage that you're seeing right now, I don't even understand why they canceled this. It looked so good, especially around this time. And also too, I will leave the channel link down in the description below. The emulators and gameplay HD because I had this footage that was way 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 more crappier than this and apparently he got that footage and putting this out of an emulator and making it into 4k and it looks amazing so shout out to him i'll leave his channel down in the link description below so around 2006 and 2007 the xbox 360 and the playstation 3 it features several playable marvel comic characters alongside destructible environments and the difference between this and nemesis it was going to be you know nemesis ea also had their own created superheroes along the marvel heroes this was in particular was just going to be Marvel superheroes only. There was a few details that was available about this game as it was officially released during the San Diego Comic Con in 2007 July. Now this was the initial statement they put out in July 2007. Electronic Arts has announced the fame development sale EA Chicago developers of Fight Night in Def Jam Icon has signed on to build an all new slugfest featuring Marvel superheroes for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Not many details apart from the game's planned existence have been revealed yet but with little luck we have may have been able to score some face time with EA Chicago's bombastic general manager Kudo Sunada. In the meantime, we got some quotes for the Madman Sunada to tide you over such as, we looked at past comic based games to find out what was missing and what was needed to successfully translate the intensity, excitement and fiction from comics into fighting games. Sunada also stated, we're challenging ourselves to make a game that delivers on the superhero promises of the past top tier fighting games. That sounds passionate. It sounds like love. It sounds like everything incredible. And less than four months later, in all my years of conquest, violence, and slaughter, it was never personal. But I'll tell you now, what I'm about to do to your stubborn, annoying little planet, I'm gonna enjoy it very, very much. 
I'm not shitting you. Four months later, EA puts out the JPEG of Doom. Unfortunately, the game was quickly canceled and EA Chicago closed down by its parent company as stated in the November 2007 by GameSpot. Shout out Lucy James from the second podcast. Last week, Electronics Arts CEO John Resitelio announced in a quarterly earnings conference call, of course, it was a fucking earnings call, that the publisher would be weathering a round of layoffs and studio closures. At the time, the only operation confirmed for closure was the EA Chesterie Studio in the UK, mate. Today, GameStar has obtained an internal memo stating that EA Chicago is also being closed. So not only did these motherfuckers cancel the game after four months, they Thanos snapped the entire studio, bro. Four months later, and you just heard that passionate statement I read by the game direct four months later it was gone. Fast forward 2024 you got the same agenda. 2024 what's happening now? They still slicing and dicing motherfuckers bro. So fucking bomb. It's such such a bomber, bro. The memo sent by EA Games president Frank Gibbo states that EA will announce the closure today and call it the toughest decision I've made in my career. Take off, what you say? Cap. <laughs> Gibu singled out studio general manager Kudu Sonata as one of the best creative minds in the industry and said that many of the affected employees will be offered jobs at other EA locations with those leaving the company receiving severance and outplacement assistance. Side note before I forget, as I was looking up this San Diego Comic Con footage, I found this clip of one of the ghosts of the gaming industry in 2007 at a panel. Check this out. I had a uh, brief run on 24 as the new bad guy for the season till I was fired. <laughs> How fucking crazy is that? Just hearing him speak, all I hear is Kratos. Imagine this is 2007, whatever, he was only doing Star Trek. He would have never, he even said that he would have never thought in a million years, and over 10 years later, he'd have been working on a video game. So I saw that, just came across the feed, and I just smiled, because y'all know God of War is my heart and soul, besides my superhero content. Anyway, again, they go on to mention all about the numbers and this, and I get it, it's black and white to them. They don't, they don't give a shit about passion and this and love. They don't give a fuck, it's black and white. We have this many employees, we need this much income. That's just the way it go with these corpos and it sucks. Yeah, and, and after that, that was all she wrote. And apparently, they had been cooking for a while because they had prototype gameplay already made. I would imagine they used the previous assets from Marvel Nemesis and just kind of tweaked it from there because I don't know how long the game was in development. I couldn't even find that information. But especially right now with all the hype with Doctor Doom, Fortnite just announced at the, at the D23 event that they having a big Marvel Villains Fortnite event, I believe August 16th, which we definitely I'm gonna be on that. I downloaded Fortnite just so I can do that event. So be on the lookout, content on that. And yeah, man, I just if you if you enjoy these videos, drop a like on it, man. I keep them popping, especially in between like Black Men, Wukong, some of the other big titles that we have coming out. Yeah, man, this is fascinating to me. So if you have any other council games or old games you want me to cover, please let me know. I have a few other ones in mind that I have found as well too. But this one just blew me away from the short time span of four months to just snapped away. That's unfortunate, bro. Anyway, I can. Assemble. Grab the little one. <laughs>